So this video is gonna be a little different today because BenQ was cool enough to reach out to me and send me a 4K monitor for review. So just for full disclosure, I'm not actually being paid by BenQ to do this video and I can say whatever I want. But BenQ did provide me with this monitor for testing and I do get to keep this monitor after it, regardless of my opinion on it. And since I have a PS4 Pro and have been really wanting to play Red Dead Redemption 2 again in 4K, this seemed like a really cool little thing. So thank you BenQ for passing this on to me for review, and thanks to every one of my subscribers for putting me in this position. I get lots of offers for doing paid promotions and I normally turn them down, as they essentially give me a script to power back to you, which is not something I feel comfortable doing. So with all that said, here is the review. So the monitor that I am reviewing is the EW3280U by BenQ. As I am a gamer, a video editor and digital designer, I spend a lot of my waking hours in front of the screen. I was actually on the market for something that would kind of cater for all of these. So this genuinely did sound like it would. As I am limited my access for 4K monitors to compare this to, I have decided to link a review by Tom's Hardware website in the description. This is my go-to website for a lot of tech info, so I do think if you think this is a TV that you might be interested in, that you should have a look through their review and see what you think. The EW3280U is from BenQ's entertainment display line, but still offers something for professionals to use, as it can be used in either Rec. 709 or DCI P3 color spaces. This monitor has full color depth in a full 10 bits and it supports HDR signals with a Visa Display HDR 400 certification. The screen is 32 inches with a 4K resolution, which gives a lot of extra real estate when working on, but still can be quite immersive when you're chilling out and playing a good game or watching a movie. On Tom's hardware review, they say that the W3280U supports AMD FreeSync with SDR or HDR, and their tests confirm that even though Nvidia hasn't confirmed the monitor, it can also run G-Sync with SDR or HDR. The stand is pretty minimalist with cast aluminium. It looks pretty sleek and stylish and there's a really small bezel around it. Adjustments wise, the only movements are 15 degrees back tilt with 5 degrees forward. There is no provision for height, swivel or portrait adjustments. The stand does also allow you to conceal some cables which might help with cable management. And you can also remove the cover at the back to find a 100mm VESA mount. The input panel consists of two HDMI 2.0 ports, a DisplayPort 1.2, a USB-C port and a 3.5mm jack output. There is of course control panels at the back to make adjustments to picture, colour etc. But one of the greatest additions of this monitor I think is the remote control. The USB-C port is also great for any MacBook Pro users who may want to connect this up to a monitor. The monitor comes with built-in Trevelo speakers and the sound is actually really impressive. There is a decent bass for a monitor and the audio is really clear and there is a selection of 5 modes for you to select. This monitor also has HDRI which is unique to BenQ. It basically detects your current ambient light levels and the image content and then it automatically adjusts the screen brightness for the ideal viewing experience. There's also a number of eye care modes you can choose from, which help reduce eye strain by minimizing the blue light levels. This is another small thing, but if you're going to be working on this monitor for a lot of hours and looking at a lot of Word documents, this is a very welcome addition. So what's my opinion on this monitor? Well, I've been using this monitor now as my main one for a number of weeks. I've been using it for video editing and digital design. I've been watching movies on it and I've been gaming on it. And overall, I'm very impressed with it, and it suits my needs down to the T. Aesthetically, I really like the look of this monitor. It has a minimalistic, sleek look and a small bezel surrounding the screen. I would like to have seen more screen adjustment options though, as you can only tilt it back 15 degrees and tilt it forward 5 degrees, and there's no way of adjusting the height. That said, it does have the option of attaching a 100mm VESA mount, which could open up new adjustment options for you if you wanted. This monitor comes with a remote. And I know this is a small thing, but when you're switching back from display inputs like I do, reaching around the back of a monitor is just an annoyance. The remote is pretty well laid out and does exactly what you need. There's also a volume control knob on the bottom left of the monitor, which is extremely useful also. I do wish the headphone jacket was placed in this position beside it, 
as it is actually placed at the back where the inputs are and it is kind of annoying if you're switching between headphones and speakers to reach back around but this is a small thing I think. So Red Dead Redemption 2 was the main game that I played while testing this and it looks awesome on it. Um, I found myself just walking around looking at like the little details in the world. In fact I really want to go through and play it again and maybe do a live stream just so I can play through it again in 4k. The refresh rate in this monitor is 60 hz which may be an issue for some hardcore PC gamers who are looking for 120 but for me playing on PS4 Pro this wasn't an issue at all. The movies looked great in this monitor and I really liked the contrast that the HDRI added to the image. The image was vibrant and didn't look washed out. I was really impressed by the sound quality also as there was a lot of clarity and you could really hear the details in the back. The monitor really was a pleasure to work on also. It gives you a lot of extra real estate with the 4K screen and there was a lot of confidence in the colours that you are working with. The eye care modes were also a big plus for me as I do spend a lot of hours working in front of the monitor so being able to switch between these different modes definitely helped reduce the strain on my eyes. Overall I am very happy with this monitor as it is exactly the kind of monitor that I was looking for to use both professionally and for entertainment. If you're looking for a large flat screen in a traditional 16.9 aspect ratio then the EW3280 is a really good choice. It's a very capable gaming monitor and is a professional display. All in one. So if this is something that you're in the market for definitely check it out. Again I will put a link to Tom's hardware review in the description in case you want a more in-depth review of this product. Thanks again for Ben Q for sending on this monitor for review. And I look forward to playing Red Dead Redemption 2 again in 4K on this awesome monitor. Adios.